Forget about Made in China 2025. This is the real plan. For a long time, the world was focused on the Made in China 2025 plan. That was really about catching up to Western countries and upgrading existing industries. But that chapter is closing. The new focus, the real strategic play is on what Beijing calls future industries. This is a completely different strategy. It's not about building a better version of something that already exists. It is a calculated national effort to invent and dominate the next generation of technology, the foundational tech that will shape the rest of the 21st century. So what are we talking about specifically? This is the deep transformative tech. These are things like quantum information, brain computer interface, humanoid robots, 6G and future networks, advanced biotech and gene technology. The goal here isn't just to participate in developing these technologies, it's to secure a leading position while these technologies are still in their infancy, basically setting the standards for the future global economy. This isn't just a wish list on a government document, it's happening on the ground. Take a city like Guangzhou, it's rapidly becoming a global hub for this next wave producing a group of standout startups nicknamed the Six Little Dragons. These include companies like Unitree, which is making waves with its advanced robots, and DeepSeek, a major player in the AI space. The progress is concrete and measurable. In the race to build humanoids, China is now home to 56% of the world's publicly traded companies in humanoid robotics. That's a massive signal to the world. It's the same story in biotech. This is a sector long dominated by the US and Europe. Yet, as of early 2025, China has approved five advanced CAR T-cell therapies for cancer, ranking second only to the United States, which has six. Homegrown giants like Wuxi Aptech have become so integral to the global pharmaceutical supply chain that they are now seen as strategic assets sometimes called the Huawei of biotech in geopolitical discussions. One of the things that are really interesting about Chinese development is the pace of change. So how is this happening so quickly? It is basically well-planned, a comprehensive national strategy. First, the innovation model has changed. The Chinese Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, MIIT, plays a significant role in this whole thing. It's the central government body responsible for regulating and developing China's telecommunications software, electronics, information technology, manufacturing industries, and information security. There is no UK equivalent of this government body. UK's approach is to divide the responsibilities of the MIIT type government bodies across multiple government bodies and agencies. China prefers the centralized system. More importantly, how this government agency runs the future industries. So the MIIT now publicly posts specific high-level technological challenges. The first research teams or companies to solve them within a set, a set time frame, typically two years, get priority access funding and state support. It is a system designed to produce rapid, targeted breakthroughs. Second, through the financial engine, recognizing that this kind of deep tech requires massive patient capital. The China is reforming its financial markets to fit this need. The stock market regulator has the confirmed plans to make it easier for promising but unprofitable tech startups to list on public exchange. Like the Shanghai pioneered new tools, uh, including risk sharing mechanisms and specialized tech innovation bonds to funnel money directly into this ecosystem. Still, the biggest bottleneck remains the talent. Despite a generally challenging job market, there is an intense shortage of skilled engineers and scientists in these future fields. Cutting-edge tech firms are reportedly offering salaries up to four times the national urban average to attract the world-class talent they need to compete. The bottom line is this. China is executing a deliberate, systematic, and massively funded plan to transition from the world's factory to the world's laboratory. The fierce tech rivalry with the United States is only accelerating this push. This isn't just about economic growth. It is a quest for technological sovereignty, and the power to shape the next technological era. It is one of the most ambitious national projects underway in the world today. This was more like a general talk about China's plan for future industries. Let me know if you want me to do deep analysis of the future industries in my future videos. If you enjoyed the video and want to hear more about similar subjects, please subscribe, smash the bell button. If you have any questions or want to leave a comment, you know what to do. Till next time.